Francisco Vaquez de Coronado was born in Spain in 1519. He came from a noble family, but that meant little to Coronado because he was a second son. According to Spanish custom, the firstborn son inherited or received his family's money and property. Coronado would have to earn his own fortune. In 1521, Spain had conquered the Aztecs in modern day Mexico. Spain started a large colony called New Spain. In 1535, Antonio de Mendoza became viceroy of the colony. His job would be to oversee the colony and find out more about Spain's new territory. Mendoza was a friend of the Coronado family. He chose 25-year-old Francisco Coronado as his assistant. Coronado sailed for New Spain with Mendoza. Coronado wasted little time making a name for himself in the New World. Within a few years, he was named governor of one of the provinces of New Spain. He had also married into a rich and powerful family. Coronado's wife, Beatriz de Estrada, was the daughter of a government official in New Spain. She was famous for her beauty and goodness. After their marriage, Beatriz and Coronado inherited a large estate. But Coronado had even bigger plans. He had heard the stories about the seven cities of Cibola. Coronado wanted to find those cities. Francisco Vasquez de Coronado wanted to find the seven cities of Cibola. He and Viceroy Antonio de Mendoza organized an expedition. It included more than 1,000 Spanish soldiers and American Indians, as well as herds of livestock for food. Four Catholic missionaries, including Father Marcos de Niza, also joined the group. In February 1540, the expedition left Compostela, Mexico. Coronado led the army up the west coast of Mexico and into the present-day state of Arizona, and then into New Mexico. In July, Father Niza led them to the place he described as the City of Gold. Instead of a golden city, they found a Zuni Pueblo. It was one of the cities of Cibola, but it was not rich, and it was home to hostile Zuni American Indian. As the Spaniards approached, Zuni warriors fired arrows and hurled rocks. Coronado was an easy target in his golden army, but Coronado's army crushed the Zuni. The Zuni fled and Coronado's men took over the Pueblo. From there, small bands searched for riches. These were the first Europeans to see the Grand Canyon and the Colorado River. Neighboring American Indians heard about the Spanish attack on the Zuni Pueblo, so they sent emissaries to greet the Spanish. The American Indians made a peace offering. They established trade relations. They led Coronado's men east to a large settlement. The Tiguas village was the most prosperous American Indian village the Spanish had ever seen. It was built on the banks of the Rio Grande, near the site of present-day Albuquerque, New Mexico. Coronado and his men spent many months living in Tiguas. Eventually, tensions between the two groups led to the Tiguas War. For two months in the winter, the American Indians defended their pueblos against the Spanish. Eventually, the Tiguas surrendered. They moved to nearby communities for the rest of the Spanish expedition. In the spring, Coronado's men continued their quest for gold. A local told them about a rich kingdom in the east called Quivira. They headed east across the Texas Panhandle. They reached the Texas Plains. There, they found Quivira to be a poor American Indian village. Coronado returned home to Mexico in 1542. He had explored much of the American Southwest, but because he returned without riches, his trip was considered a failure.